In the reading from Acts, the community of Jesus' disciples had been transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Their sharing and caring was a powerful witness to the wider community, which could see that following Jesus transforms how we live in the world. Today, what does it mean to connect the church to the community outside its four walls? And what does it mean to witness to how Jesus transforms how we live in our world, which is so greatly threatened ecologically? I shall bring you some insights from my Tongan culture. We must start with what we mean by the term community. In Tongan culture, community is not limited only to human creatures, but rather it is about the whole earth community. Tongan pastor and New Testament scholar, Reverend Dr. Fakauta, explores how we can live a faithful life in the present context of our changing awareness of the place of human beings within the whole creation. He uses the concept of fale o kainga. The fale o kainga is comprised of two words, fale and kainga. Fale refers to the word house. The Reverend Dr. Vakauta says it's a place of dwelling. The fale means more than a physical structure that we built. It refers to any group of people with common interests and a shared sense of belonging. Groups like families, communities, churches and so forth. Fale in this sense is a commitment to each other. We also speak of fale metaphorically. It is an ecological space. Wherever we are in the world, we belong to a household that we share with other creatures. In Oceania, we have a huge watery house. We do not own that house, we belong to it. The fale or the ecological space where all earthly creatures dwell is grounded on the relational term gainga. Gainga in Tonga refers to those who are non-blood relatives, but they are also considered family. It applies to anything which has some type of connection to another being. Vakauta describes the core of the gainga as reciprocity, Tongan tauhiva. Tauhiva elevates distribution above consumption, sharing above accumulation, peaceful coexistence above domination, communal well-being above individual interests. To ensure that the fale o kainga is managed at a level of relationship rather than domination, which will damage those who belong to the house or the fale, Tongans operate on six principles as described by Vakauta. Faka apa apa, unreserved respect. Faka poto poto, wise management of resources. Femoli moli'i, sharing one what one has no matter how small. Fua kavenga, fulfilling one's duty. And mateaki, a degree of sincerity and devotion must accompany whatever we do. And lototo, which encourages humility. Today, we will only focus on three of these, uh, four of these principles. And so they are unreserved respect, management of resources, and sharing what one has, no matter how small. Lastly, a degree of sincerity, which must accompany whatever we do, faka apa apa, unreserved respect. Once we accept ourselves as part of the fale o kainga with the rest of creation, we will see that unreserved respect plays a significant value in our contribution to being a part of the fale o kainga. Respect for all creation is needed rather than selecting who deserves respect. Unreserved respect is not limited to just those who look like us, but rather it's extended to all creatures who are part of the house. When our respect is limited, then our attitudes and way of life becomes a type of arrogance that overlooks the dignity of all living things. A lack of respect has led to ecological destructions. This has forced Pacific communities to become canaries of climate change. The New Testament scholar Vakauta notes, when there is no respect, the land, the sea and the air are products to sell in order to stimulate growth.
When there is no respect, we run the risk of prostituting ourselves or pimping others for our own gain. When there is no respect, we share our fellows not in terms of their human value, but in terms of their employability, efficiency and productivity. Respecting nature and each other is urgently required in order to sustain our ecological and economic space, our whale. Unreserved respect recognises the whole earth is a house enriched with all sorts of resources in need of respect from all. There's a need for all to be faka apa apa in our ever-changing context. Respect alone will not save the whale, but it will buy time for the whale or kainga to find new ways of adapting until other methods of survival are developed. Part of this adaptation is wise management of resources, whakapotopoto. As a member of the whale or kainga, we should value whakapotopoto, otherwise we will overuse Earth's resources. As we are currently seeing all around the world, leading to the threat of ecological and economic collapse from not living a wise way of managing resources. Some say it's too late, but as long as the whale or kainga exists, all of us are a part of this fate. We must take on being whakapotopoto as a way of life rather than a to-do list. A part of living out wise management of resources is to make sure resources are distributed equally. In Tonga, we call this femoli moli'i. Femoli moli'i is sharing no matter how small. Some of the whale or kainga don't see themselves as part of a whale, but rather as the only inhabitants of the whale. So they decide not to share, but to take on greed as their value. Femoli moli'i is the opposite of greed and selfishness. It's important that we are genuine in seeing our place in the whale or kainga, because this will lead us to commit to caring for the well-being of whale or kainga. This is not a commitment to be taken lightly, but by rather changing our whole way of life to contribute to the well-being of other living beings who are part of the whale or kainga. The first believers responded to the gospel by forming their own whale or kainga or community. They knew they no longer belonged to themselves, but rather to the body of Christ. They do not own the body, they are a part of the body, which means their primary interest is for the well-being of the whole community, not just the individual or themselves. By sharing possessions and giving up ownership, they are practicing whakapotopoto. They sold their belongings so all could have enough. Committing ourselves to these same values of the early church gives us a more holistic idea of what it means to live a faithful life in the present context of our changing awareness of the place of human beings within the whole creation. The body of Christ is a fale. The principles of unreserved respect, wise management of resources, sharing no matter how small, Selfless commitment to the well-being of all creatures offers us a way of being the church for the future of the earth. Amen.